Let's try the hook first. It's semi flexible, so I'm gonna set up the hook. And there it is. See, there's a little piece of metal that we just dropped in. Wow, it's coming out. <laughs> it's coming out. So you drop something in your motor, how easy is to pull it out? <laughs> Amazing, right? There's a lot of Wi-Fi endoscopes on Amazon. What makes this one better? First, let's see what's in the box. This is an expandable uh, telescopic uh, arm, so you could guide the camera, and I'm going to show you how. I am the type of a guy that works a lot on his car, his motorcycle, and sometimes you have a little thing like this, you just drop on the motor, right? And now you have a big problem. How are you gonna get it? I'm confident that this will work because it has a hook at the end. So we could watch it on the screen for the phone and then go and dig for it. This telescope arm is actually very, very useful for this kind of a thing. So the camera is at the end. And then we could just go and look at the screen and then try to grab the actual piece and here it is. Just got it out and I was able to see it on the screen. It has a little packet of accessories, which is actually very, very important. And here's the endoscope itself. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is that it's a very, very small endoscope. So if I'm gonna measure it, 5.3 millimeters. So it's very, very small and it's the same size for the cable. So it will fit into very, very small spaces. Because it's waterproof, it will fit through the dipstick. I've just set it on record and now I'm just about to shove it in here and see what's inside the dipstick. And it went quite deep in there. And that's the bottom of my motor. I have a strange weld over there. Huh. Didn't know that it's there. And off the screen of the phone, you can adjust how much luminosity you wanna have. So you wanna have more or less light you could change that so you could focus the camera on uh, important parts. And then just pull it out and look how deep it went. So this is how deep it went into the motor. And even though I got some oil on it, it's water resistant. Just clean it up and you're good to go. It's a semi-rigid cable which makes it very, very adjustable. So if you have to fit it into a very tight place, this cable will allow you to do so. Just set it on record mode and I'm going to show you how flexible it is. We'll go through this uh, pair of handlebars. So I just put it through and it's just traveling through. You see there is a turn. It's taking the turn. It's going around it. And we're starting to see the light at the other end. It's because you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna come out soon. So if you look over there, there it is. So is it flexible? Yes. There is a battery pack built in here, 2600 milliamps. So it has a long life battery pack. Uh, will last you about four hours to work on it before you have to charge it again. The camera itself, it's waterproof. This is not. So that means that the camera can be submerged and you could look inside places that are maybe more wet or even dipped in water. This little packet has four types of attachments for the tip of the camera. And these are all important. The mirror itself, it's at 45 degrees, so you could look at stuff that requires you to look at 45 degrees angle. Very, very important. It does come with a little film on top to protect the mirror. So you have to take that off because otherwise the image will not be clear. This telescopic arm is something that this kit comes with the others don't have. Also because it's flexible, you could always aim it wherever you need to go with it. And it's very, very long. This is about six foot. The installation is very, very easy. All you have to do is just go and download an app called Instcam. Turn the camera on. It will show you the battery life and the fact that it's broadcasting Wi-Fi. To connect the device, you have to scroll down, look under your Wi-Fi, look for the camera into your phone, it's gonna show up usually the strongest signal because you are close to it. 
It's going to ask you for the password. The default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All you have to do is click connect, open up your app, and it's going to give you options to use it from here. It's nice because it's flexible, but also it's nice because uh, it's soft. So it can fit through places that you wouldn't be able to push it through otherwise. I really like the telescope arm that comes with it. It makes it a lot more useful to grab things that are uh, in straight line, but very, very far down and you need to have it a little bit more stiff. I like the mirror, the fact that you could look inside a cylinder. I like the hook because you could grab stuff that you wouldn't be able to uh, grab otherwise. I've only tested it on Android because I don't have Apple, but Apple is one of the most compatible devices out there, so I highly doubt you're going to have any problems. If you're looking for a camera, an inspection camera, or something that needs to go into small places, this will do it. Thanks for watching.